get into this big girl quality outfit. I see you, I see you, I see you coming on up. Wow. Am I really getting on Beyonce's internet looking like this? Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia. If you're new here in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I've been getting my summer hair and my summer makeup. So if you were wondering how I was getting the look, just keep on watching. Everything will be linked down below in the description box. As always, everything with links so you can buy. You know I got you, sis. Sis, you know I got you. So if you guys want to know how I've been getting the look, just keep on watching and let's just get right into the video. Alright, now that I filmed 20 intros later, so we're going to start off with hair. Full disclosure, I didn't shave my underarms in the shower because I don't know, I didn't think this through. And I have a little bit of stubble, but it's natural. And guess what? I'm not about to go shave it, so you guys are just gonna have to see it and fast forward. But we're gonna start off with hair. So the main thing for the hair portion of it is uh, this waiver. So I feel like these waivers are becoming like super mainstream now. Like, wow, it's hot. A lot of people are selling them. I got mine off of Amazon. It come, it goes in like Celsius, so it says 210 degrees Celsius. I'm assuming that's like 400 degrees um that's generally it um i go through a phase if you see me looking that way i'm looking in the uh, monitor i go through a phase if i'm gonna put product in it i like putting product in it just because if you spray a hairspray first and then wave it it comes out like way more defined but i realized the other day that the reason i was break oh, excuse me the reason that i was breaking out on my cheeks is because when i do put product in my hair and then i wear my hair in my face I, I break out like I have no idea why my skin is that sensitive hairspray that I use is the Garnier one I, like just take me out why don't you hairspray is hairspray I don't have a favorite hairspray I mean I just picked this one up because I like the way their products smell so yeah so we're just gonna hop right into here I'm gonna put you guys in fast forward because it's obviously not anything to it I'm gonna play some music for you guys but basically you grab a section of hair and you just make Y'all see the smoke? You just make your way down the um, the shaft of hair. Is that what it's called? I'm terrible at this. But yeah, so this is what my hair is looking like. So I just brushed it last night. Let me know how you guys like the new quality as well. You, you guys know I have a new mic. I have new lighting. I can see myself in my computer. Like this is so fancy. Is this? This is legit. But yes, I'm just going to part a bottom section of my hair. The great thing about the waiver is because it's so big, you could do bigger sections. Oh my god, look at my underarms. Wow. Whatever. I don't care. Listen, I be lazy sometimes. Like sometimes I get in the shower and I will shave my whole body, like literally every inch of my body. And sometimes I just be like, baby girl, for what? Who is seeing you? Who can appreciate how smooth you are, you know? But yeah, so... Sorry if the audio changed a little bit. I told you guys I just opened my window. So for like this first piece, oh my god, I'm so scared because I'm not near a mirror. I'm like literally relying on <laughs> the screens. You literally just clamp it in and hold it. When it comes to the bottom pieces, I don't really stress going close to the, um, the root because for what? You know, it just needs to have that wave. And I just hold it, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds. Is that bad? Is that good? Is that going to damage my hair? Um, I could feel the heat on my ear. And then once you do that, you just go down to the next one. And you guys see, like, if you go bunch it up, you'll see the waveform. Um, but like I said, when it comes to the bottom sections, I don't stress holding it too much. Because I prefer for it to look more natural anyways. Like, I don't want it to look like I used a hot tool. And I feel like the reason a lot of people think this is, like, my natural hair texture is because my hair texture actually used to be like this. But because I straighten my hair so often, like, there was a point in time where I was straightening my hair two to three times a week. <sighs> Baby girl, my hair don't do nothing no more. Nada. Nada. Okay? So, that's what it's going to look like. I don't want to try it. I'm too late. You don't need to stop it. so slow. I just got a vibe and show me. And you gonna decide when we get blown I don't wanna strive, I'm too good Everything around wanna move slow I just gotta find the choker All I wanna do is get you blown Girl, I don't wanna strive, I'm too good We don't need to stop it, it's so slow I just gotta find the choker And you gonna decide when we get blown I don't wanna strive, I'm too good Everything around wanna move slow I just gotta find the choker All I wanna do Everything 
ends look like really dry but it's fine I'll put some oil in so I'm just gonna like loosen it up a bit and I'm gonna keep that same middle part and for the braids I mean it's self-explanatory I just literally braid so I don't know how you give a tutorial on braiding but what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna braid back because the other day I tried braiding down and I didn't like the way it looked on my face so I prefer my braids to go towards the back of my head I think it's just personal preference how you like them so I just have two rubber bands I don't put any product in it um, I'm gonna put a little bit of foaming mousse is that what this is called yeah foaming mousse um, I swear it's just like people who just think oh she's filming let's talk to her I'm gonna put like a little bit of foaming mousse in the front just to like grip those hairs up but not a lot like nothing to wet the hair so what I do again I'm looking down because I'm looking in the monitor because I can't see so I'm using it as a mirror like that's too big of a section so I just grab like the corner top section don't look at my underarms and I separate them and I start with the middle strand and I pull that over everything and before I even start the braid I like initiate the braid twice just to make sure it's there and then I start grabbing hair from my head if that makes sense I feel like everybody knows how to braid if not there's so many videos on YouTube but yeah so I just braid to the back of my head because I like to have some of the waves above my air like it's just more flick figure flattering for me um, and again like I know a lot of girls braid downwards like this and I feel like it's cute but because I do my hair so big and messy it almost throws off the proportions like because it makes all of this nice and secured and then like the back of your hair is messy I don't know does it make sense but yeah so I'm just gonna keep braiding like it's literally nothing to I'm just braiding so it's on my head Ugh make sure it's not tangled let me look in the mirror because i feel like that little part looks like janky so <laughs> janky <laughs> and then once i get to like the back of my head what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna like at least take one little string from the middle of the head just so that the braid stays down um i kept making mistakes where it wasn't down so like you could see the braid pop out so then I'm gonna stop grabbing here as you can see and I'm just gonna braid down a little bit and then the hard part is putting a hair tie in it without getting hair from the rest of your head so I'm just gonna tie it and try to make sure it's no other pieces of hair going in and then voila like there's nothing to it um, and then I just pull out like a lot of the hair right here because I just like it to look more natural and this will just like loosen up a little bit uh, that baby is thirsty so yeah and then like because you see how it's sticking out um, I don't like how it does that so what I usually do is get a bobby pin and just pin it down which I'm gonna do but I don't have any bobby pins in front of me so that I have to wait but yeah so I'm just gonna braid the other side really quickly so now that that's done yeah that's what that's gonna look like so like you can see right here it's sticking up so you have to bobby pin that down but I forgot to grab bobby pins so for now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie them in the back which is what I did for one of my pictures but that's just gonna have to do for now um so yeah I just like it to look like this just super romantic but again you don't want to obviously have a rubber band in the back so you just safety pin it down and it'll stay like it won't move um sometimes I do my baby hairs let me see do I want to do them today I'm gonna do a little, 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 little bit little bit just a little bit um just to make it look a little bit more cleaner than it usually like it is right now so I'm gonna put a little foaming mousse on the back of my hand and I'm also gonna grab a little bit of edge control this is kids edge control so it doesn't like make my hair like stick stick it just helps me brush it down
and I'm not forcing my hair this is like literally just where my natural hair goes it just makes it look a little bit more defined obviously nothing not too crazy And as you can see, like, I don't mind the braids being so frizzy. I just feel like it just looks more effortless like that. Then for me to put a lot of product and, like, grip it super tight, like, I don't want it to look like that. So, yeah, so that's literally all I'm doing for baby hair. And let me get rid of all this junk because we're going to go on to the makeup, which is the best part. I wish I had some hand sanitizer. The only things that have changed are the primer, the foundation, and that's it really. Um, so the foundation is something I've been using for a year or two now and I really enjoy it. I use it every single summer. Whoa. Yeah, I use it every single summer. Like it doesn't let me down. So it's been in my collection. This is the same bottle I've been using. Sorry, I'm just opening a Fix Plus. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the primer. So the primer I've been using is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I really, really enjoy this. Um like so so good they say it's a dupe for the tatcha one i can't vouch for that because i never had the tatcha one and the crazy thing is i'm not a primer person like i've never used a primer where i was like oh my god like this feels amazing on my skin until this one and i don't put a lot like as you can see you can see me rubbing it on and then i just disperse it until it's rubbed in but it just feels so good it doesn't clog my pores I don't know I feel like it just makes everything look so much better it's so good and you guys see my skin is doing so freaking good um, if you're new here baby girl over here has problematic skin um, my skin is still scarred like as you can see but if you were to go watch my older videos <laughs> we over here making 80% improvements okay so I'm not mad at it like I feel very good about myself right now um, I'll link the pill down below that I was using because a lot of people were asking and I know it's because like they don't watch my vlogs but they watch my other videos so I'll link the vlog below I mean I'll link the vlog below I'll link the pill down below I stopped using it for a few weeks just because I was tanning and you can't be in the sun with it but I just wanted to renew my tan um, and then in a few days I'm gonna get back to it once I film well once this video goes up so my skin is super smooth right now what was that on my lip was that there the whole time um, so yeah it just feels so good like i definitely would recommend you pick it up like i could sit there and rub it on my face all day like i wouldn't mind so i have my little palette here you guys know i put my foundation on this palette because i'm the type of person to put foundation on the back of my hand and then never wipe it off and then i'm outside with stuff on my hand the foundation that i use in the summertime is the bobby brown intensive skin serum foundation spf 40 there's lychee, bamboo grass, and cordyceps extracts in it. I'm in the shade Warm Almond 6.5. I picked this up from Nordstrom. Um, when I was looking on the internet the other day, when I was looking on Beyonce's internet, I couldn't find it. Like, it's not on Nordstrom anymore. It's on Bobbi Brown's website. Um, but, like, the one that's on Sephora, it has the same name. But I don't know if they change the package like i don't know if it's a smaller bottle or if it's different but it's literally a serum it's really hydrating for the skin um it feels good on the skin the coverage is really really good especially for it to be a serum like it's not it's like a medium to buildable full coverage um and then i just add a little bit of the nars pure radiant tinted moisturizer bra spectrum spf 40 and i'm in this color say is that how you say that say i just put a little bit of this just because i just want to make the um bobby brown one a little bit more like foundation consistency um because the serum could get like super oily and it will be oily throughout the day and there's nothing wrong with that but i don't like the oily look on me like to say so i just try to tone down that serum effect a little bit with the bb cream and i don't want to add like a foundation so take my little palette oh my god i'm holding it the wrong way because it's about to go through the loophole and then I just dab my sponge and then I just dab like the excess off anywhere else like just to make sure it's not a lot. And I just go straight into the face like a very light little sheer layer like I don't go full blown in with it. Because again I want it to look like skin like I just want to look like a healthier better version of me. You know the vibe. Summer is just... You just want to look healthy. You just want to look like you've been taking care of yourself. 
taking care of your skin and now that my skin is doing better i don't mind like if a few of my imperfections shine through so, like i take it over the eyebrow forehead hairline you guys can see like you can still see some of my darker scars and this is my bad side like this is the side that i was breaking all out from the hairspray um and you can still see everything coming through but like it matches my tan which is so i'm just blending this everywhere you guys see it just looks so good right it looks so healthy i'm just going to drag it down my neck just to make sure everything looks good with my tan and yeah, I'm going to grab a little bit more just to focus it right here on this part of the cheek where some of that extra hyperpigmentation and scarring is coming through. But that's about it. Like that's the only place I'm really going to focus it more on is the cheeks because I don't want to layer too much on. Other than that though, like any other scars that are peeking through, I don't care if they do. So yeah, so what have you guys been up to? I haven't been up to much. I feel like when I do these types of videos now, I don't ever care to do like chit chats and stuff because now I'm doing like chit chats in the vlogs all week. Like you guys know what's going on with me. So like it's not like I'm holding anything in until these videos are um, made. So yeah, I haven't been up to much though. I've just been really like feeling really good about the content I've been putting out. Now that I got some new equipment, I have two new lights, um, a new mic, and then I made the viewfinder plug into the computer so I can see what I'm doing. And then I also have a reflective board on my table to reflect the light up a little bit. I just feel like I really could see a difference in my quality. I definitely could hear a difference in my quality the other day when I did a haul. Um, so yeah, I just been feeling good about the quality, honestly, and like what I've been putting out. And thank you guys so much for 22,000 subscribers. Oh my god, I cannot believe it's that many of you guys. It's so crazy because like I don't, I don't pay my uh, Instagram any mind. So like even when my Instagram follows grow, I'm just like. Damn, that's a lot of people watching. <laughs> there's a lot of people that might be judging me if I say the wrong thing. Um, so for concealer, I take the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. You guys know I've been using for this since like it got hot outside. I start off with the shade Tan Walnut. And this one is a darker shade and it's more neutral as well. But I start off with this shade to basically counteract my darkness under my eyes. Because as you can see, it is like a little peachy as well as neutral so it just makes highlighting a lot easier if i could get rid of my dark circles first so i'm just gonna take a little bit of it under the eye you're probably looking at me like asia that's not a little but yes it is <laughs> bitches get a mic and don't know how to act okay okay i'm just gonna blend that in i'm not gonna let it sit or anything so i feel like the world is literally in shambles like how do you guys feel about this whole entanglement thing? Me and my boyfriend were on the phone and I was like, so what are you doing? And he was like, I'm getting something to eat with my teammates. But they were like in a full blown lounge in the middle of the day, okay? It's like, who are you getting dressed for? Why are you trying to look good? I know you smell good because he always smells good. I know you smell good and on top of that, you're trying to look good. And I said, let me find out if you're trying to get in an entanglement where you're at. And he was like, what? I don't need to be in entanglement what i need to get in entanglement for and i just like you have nothing better to do so we were just having this whole discussion but how do you guys feel about the whole thing that's going on with them and i feel like uh, i cannot believe august alcina came for like kiki palmer because it's like what does this do to you sister's just saying you guys not her man you start attacking her like who you sound real hurt you sound real bothered um and apparently everybody involved is virgos and i hate to say it i hope i don't sound crazy but i virgos really are crazy okay like crazy oh i'm just blending away like i really feel like i can't see what i'm doing so i'm just winging it but yeah so all right so that's the first layer so i'm gonna brush my eyebrows up really quick because i feel like they look a little crazy i also forgot to bring a spoolie to brush my eyelashes so um, if you see me looking a little wild over here please ignore me all right, but so yeah, so that's the first layer. So as you can see, it definitely did balance out my face. Like there's not a lot of darkness left. So you guys know what comes next, cream contour and highlight. So for cream contour, I always use the black opal foundation sticks. Um, so now that I'm darker, I've been using suede mocha. We usually I was using beautiful bronze and hazelnut. They're pretty much the same. I think they're like next to each other in the color room. Um, but now that I'm just a little bit darker, I just go for suede mocha just to add a little bit more depth. If I was to use beautiful bronze, you can't really see it like it just adds warmth but it's nothing like 
making my face structure my face structure change you know what i'm saying so then i'm taking the elf hydrating concealer again um and this is the shade medium beige so this one is lighter as you can see and it's more yellowy and not neutral and then i just literally put it right here down the nose forehead we love a good tree on the forehead keep as well chin and then I also do it like I follow along my bottom lip just to bring the pout up a little just a little just a little oh my god it's a hair on my face I can feel it and now I'm itchy <gasps> ah! I'm gonna take a real technique real techniques a real techniques stippling brush I've had this brush for years I love I used to love stippling brushes like they used to be my method for putting foundation on like i used to love a good stippling brush like i just feel like it looks so natural so skin like and i don't know then beauty blenders became a thing and then all these kabuki brushes flat top brushes dense brushes i'm like what happened to the stippling brush i love a good stippling brush though and then just blending everything oh when it comes to the cream contour, I try to blend in and then I dab just to keep it in place. Um, same thing with the hairline. Don't disturb the baby hairs. Don't disturb the baby hairs. I repeat. And up, oh, see, we disturbed them. It's okay. It's okay. And then like this whole thing with Naya Rivera, oh, it's so sad. Especially because like I just feel for her kid. Like I can't imagine being on a boat and you're just waiting for your mom to come back and you're in the middle of the water you know like kids his age are smart so i don't know the whole thing is just scary it's so unfortunate like the world is literally just awesome shit honestly it really is and it's just so bizarre what's going on i just feel like ever since like february the whole world has just been like you know what i got something for y'all okay between the pandemics the plagues like i can't but other than that i mean i figured out the way that i could finally see my boyfriend so i'm so excited about that so hopefully in the next few weeks me and him could be reunited and it feels so good hopefully you know what i'm saying because i love i miss my man i miss my man um i really want to fight him at this point like at this point in my life i just was like you know when i see you I might just swing first and then kiss you. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Just get a little tension off my chest. Um, I love putting cream contour at the tip of my nose. I don't know. It just looks like so bronzy to me. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and blend the highlighter. But yeah, so we finally figured that out. So we're just figuring out a... That looks so bright, but it looks so good. Oh my God. Um, we're just figuring out a few things right now. So... What? I don't know what people were talking about um yeah so that's great i feel like that was the good news i was waiting for for weeks and it just was never coming but i finally got it so i feel lighter i have better energy now you know what i'm saying um i'm gonna blend this side out and there's a new vlog camera that also came out and i was like oh i want that too because like it has a skin smoothing uh, feature it has a feature where it could blur the background. It's called the Sony ZVD, I think. Something like that. I'll have a link down below if you're curious. Um, it's also expensive, but I really want to try it. And it, ha it has, like, its own tripod that you could control the camera from the tripod with it. And, yeah, it just looks so high-tech. It's a Sony camera. A lot of people are very conflicted. Like, a lot of people just prefer Canon. I like Canon. I've never had a problem with any of my Canon cameras. Um... I feel like the cameras that I've ever had from Sony were super problematic though. So yeah, I definitely want to try them, but they don't have them in my best buy. So I think I'm going to have to drive to New Jersey one day and like look at them. But yeah, so now that everything's blended, this is what we're looking like. Um, I'm going to take some Laura Mercier powder. So fun fact, I had this Laura Mercier powder for so long and you guys heard me kept saying it was empty. Yeah, well I cut the entire thing off. Can you see that? I cut the entire thing off and look how much she tried to get me laura you this is so much i would have been so pissed if i opened my brand new one because i did buy a brand new one right here and this is how much powder was in here so yeah cut that shit open i literally took a box cutter and went in a circle and that's that so i'm gonna set my under eye as normal like see how that was a little that was a little uh 
clumpy but yeah i feel like it was sticking to the bottom of the container because it was clumpy but ah, powder is powder okay you don't do nothing but blunt her out she could be clumpy all she want pancakes is clumpy too pancakes still taste good they still look prime when you cook them so we're gonna bake the face and that's that i'm just blending this all over so i set the trim always set the upper lip especially because you know if i'm going outside i gotta wear a mask so i gotta set everything do the nose i always set right here because i get super oily there and I'm going to go up the sides of the nose. I'm not really like reverse contouring or anything. I'll do that in a little bit. And then whatever is left, I take on my cheeks just to set that. I definitely think when you use like the Laura Mercier powder or just any powder in general. And you use it with the Juno and Co-Sponge. By the way, that's what I'm using. It's not a beauty blender. It's the Juno and Co-Sponge. It has like a microfiber texture and like it's fuzzy. So I feel like when you put powder in it, it just makes everything look so freaking good so they saw these at target now that i did that i'm gonna take my sephora micro smooth in the shade tan to set my face i'm not gonna use a lot but i'm just gonna take my big brush this is the jacqueline hill and morphe collection jh01 it's just a big powder brush and just dab her in honey dab her in very minimal because it is summertime so that's all for that and you guys know my favorite part is bronzing you guys know I use the same bronzer. I don't switch it up. I stick to what I know. That is MAC Dark Deep. Um, yeah, it's my favorite. I feel like I can't find a bronzer that's like similar in, in texture or anything. So I just do a little dabby dabby dab. And then I go back in. And then that's when I do more of a sweeping effect. But I love bronzing. It just is my favorite part. Like I feel like bronzing is what really makes my makeup come to life so yeah let me know if you guys have any bronzer recommendations though the reason i st stick to like my same old bronzer is because shade perfect no matter if i have a tan or not it still works i love the coverage of it i love the texture like it doesn't sit on top of the skin it blends into the skin so yeah there's only a few products that i always go back to mac for and this is one of them i've been using it for like the last six years non-stop and then I just take a little down the nose. Nothing too neat. Like I just do as if I was out in the sun. So I'm not going on top of the nose. I'm just putting it on the sides. And then I go like up into the eyebrow bone. Nose bone. Whatever it's called. So yeah that's that. And then I feel like another thing that I only do in the summertime. Or when the sun is starting to come out. Is I put gold deposit on top of my bronzer. So I take the Real Techniques blush brush. And I just grab the gold deposit. And now that I'm tan, it just adds the prettiest glow to the skin. And I just go everywhere that the um, MAC bronzer is. Obviously, I know what you're thinking, Asia. You could just buy a bronzer that has shimmer. I don't like the shimmer that's in bronzers. Like, I used to use refined golding from MAC. Um, and, like, even the Too Faced ones. It just doesn't look as natural. Like, these mineralized skin finish, they just sit so beautifully on the skin. And Gold Deposit is just a cool favorite. And I had this Gold Deposit for, like, the last seven years i know that's so nasty but it's freaking powder like it still works um oh if you were wondering the bronzer brush that i used by the way it was the morphe jaclyn hill jh02 it's my favorite bronzer brush it's just big fluffy and stuff um and then since i'm tan like you guys know i am darker right now you guys see the, you get into the tan line um what i do is i take excuse me i take anastasia beverly hills and mahogany i can't use this bronzer any other time of the year because it is super dark this is the darkest it comes in and i just dab it in there because honey she is pigmented and then i just go into like the hollows of my cheeks just to add like a little variation to the bronze um this is morphe m143 and do the same thing on the other side And let's do like the tip of the nose and right here under the lid. My blush brush. Did my blush brush fall out? It did. Oh, well, I'm not getting up. So I usually go in between Milani Luminoso and Milani Rose something. The rose one. Um, I'll have a link down below. But Luminoso just does me good. So I just stick to it. I'm hitting pan already. I'm just going to grab it on a stippling brush. Usually I use the angled blush brush, but it's okay. So I'm just going to put this onto the apples of the cheeks. Oh, I kind of like what the stippling brush is. Look, I did that. I did that. So I'm going to put this. I said, don't call me. And what does he do? He calls me. I said, I'm filming. 
text me before you call me and he calls so <sighs> excuse me um and then lastly for highlight i'm just taking a jacqueline hill carrots <laughs> oh my god So that's everything. I just added some gloss on my lips. The same old gloss that I always use. This will also be linked down below. And that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys try anything or pick up any of the products. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.